them and thank you if you're watching my videos really appreciate you so if you watched the last video this is my one of a kind journal which is for my two kids and just so you know these are my two kids and they are a girl and a boy and yes this is one very pink photo journal junk journal photo book whatever you wish to call it altered book this is cover is from an old book that I pulled apart and um, this is all scrapbook card slash paper that I've had for a very long time and I need to start using it up and putting my photos into journals so I can write little stories and have all my pictures organized as I'm on a mission to use my stuff and also to sort all my photos so that I can only have what I really love and take up less space and be easy for people to look at and have interesting little stories to read so I, last video I hadn't found my photos I found my little photo book this is going to be very glary because it's plastic but I went through and put all my photos in order of my two kids together from when they were little bubs up until they're older and um, I put them in order so I know what photos I want to put in here sorted them all out and I know I have 32 sides of pages here and I have probably a few more photos than that but some of them um, I will be putting into like flip out so I can add more photos here etc etc I'm not going to show you every page I do in this book because all of my photos I don't necessarily want on YouTube for everyone to look at so you'll only see me do some of them but I will definitely be showing you some of the pages and some of the decorations so you see my thought processes and how I do them this one I, is a photo that was done kids are about four and five something like that um, professional photos done through their school or kindy um, so I put this in this little frame a long time ago and it was in another little book but I've pulled that one out because this is one of my favorite photos of the two of them together so this is going to be front and center in the front here and I know the photo is a little bit faded but I actually don't mind that look it gives it that more vintage look and these are just stickers and very simple decoration that I obviously did way back in 2001 so I'm just going to leave it as is and I'm going to have this as the in the front here and I was thinking whether I want to make a pocket there but I'm not going to I'm just going to put that straight down so with photos when I've done a lot of scrapbooking and it's always very particular that you don't have anything touching your photos that are acidic so I don't actually know if this is or not it probably was actual scrapbook paper um, I have a piece of card on the back here so it doesn't matter what glues I use on this because it's not touching the photo and I used to be very particular about it um, nowadays I do put other stuff in my journals especially like junk journals and photo journals memoirs different things that I want to be in there uh, if I really love the photo I just make sure none of that stuff is actually touching the photo so I'm going to put some double-sided tape on first because this will hold it in place until the glue sets because it's not going to be easy to uh, to um, I lost the words I've got a really bad memory I'm on a few so my words just disappear occasionally <laughs> and I'm so sorry about that I'm hoping we can have some fun with it because that's just life isn't it that's just the way life goes sometimes so I will now if you can't get your double-sided tape up because you don't have many nails like me look at my nails they're disgusting I was watching um who is it? one of the YouTube videos that has oh G.I. Kerr she's got this gorgeous voice she's English lady I think but she lives in Europe somewhere uh, and I love her stuff she makes the most beautiful 
pretty stuff. She has a, these beautifully long nails. I don't know if they're her own or whether they're um, attached nails. Um, but they're really long and they're gorgeous and pink. But there is no way, no way in heck I, that I could do crafting with nails like that. I used to be a nail chewer, so I don't have much nails. And now they're all growing weird, so I just keep them really short. They're horrid. Um, but... I don't know if you've gathered it yet. I'm not really a girly girl. I am a country girl. Pretty rough around the edges. And pretty down to earth. So I go with the flow. And I don't do makeup probably once or twice a year if you're lucky. I don't do pretty as in clothes and stuff. Very basic. No maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> which comes in handy because then I used to have some spare money for crafting. I'm actually not working at the moment, so my spare funds are very, very few and far between. And hence why I now have time to do these YouTube videos and bring you along on my journey so you can see what I make. And hopefully I inspire you because I would really love for everyone to cherish their memories and savour them and save them so people in the future can look back. Not only will they see your photos, but they'll also have the little stories so they know who belongs where. Because now that I'm getting older and I've lost, I only have one set of grandparents and I've lost those a while ago. And now my mum is getting older and I lost my dad. I'm finding, I'm realising just how important it is to know those family stories and things. I have a lot of grandma's old photos, but I have no idea what most of them are about. I have a faint idea on some of them and I know the main relatives, so that's good, but I really don't know any of the stories. Three quarters of the photos, I have no idea who they are. And my dad, I did try and get some information out of him before he passed. But he didn't know a lot either. <laughs> Being male, I guess, maybe. I don't know. But he didn't have uh, much interest in his mother's old photos. So I didn't know what they were either. So hence, I really want to save my little stories so the kids can look back in the future and they will know what's what and who's who. And they'll have little stories behind these photos. Anyway. Enough of my waffling on. That's uh, my mission. And whether I get it all done or not, I don't know because there's a lot for me to do. Because I love photos. I love photography. I do a lot of photography. So I have tons of photos. Um, anyway, this glitter paper I found, I decided because I do have a son <laughs> and a boy, I probably should have a few more pages that are a bit more masculine. So some of the darker pages, um, I'm going to attempt to add a bit more masculinity-ish in there. But it's still going to be pretty because it's mine and I will do it the way I want to do it. So I have these two gorgeous bits of embossed paper. The card itself is spotty. That's how it came. And they're raised spots on one side but flat on the other. And I embossed them with some embossing folders on my Sizzix machine. So I've decided I'm going to put belly bands in here using this pretty glitter, which is a darker colour. I had a few other glitter pages. I wanted to use blue, but all my glitter pages are really thick. They're really thick card, but this is a thin one. So I thought this would be good to put here. So I'm going to have a belly band on each side for the cards to go on each side. That way, if I want to, I can put a photo on both sides and then you can just tuck it away. But it's easy to pull out and have a look at. And I cut these strips off a 12 by 12 sheet. I did that on my big trimmer. So I did that before I came. They're not even the same width as you can see, which is fine. I don't think anyone will notice. So I'm just going to line these up. I've put the two of them together and I mark the end when I turn the page over there. And I'm just going to trim these to the right length. 
put a new blade in my knife the other day. So this, oh wow, that was really sharp. Cut it really well. It's just not quite straight on the ruler. So we'll just get this little trimming bit off. So we have a straight line. And that should, should in theory, be the right size. There you go. I was aiming for them to be just a little tiny bit shorter than the page so they don't go over the edge. So the back of this paper is really glossy. So I'm not really sure that I'm going to trust the glue to hold it. So what I was thinking is I might use some thin double-sided tape and I don't have a lot of space to play with. Some thin double-sided tape just to hold it in place and then I'm actually going to sew. Sew it on, but I have to sew it by hand because the pages are in the book, which is fine. So I'm just going to put some thin tape on the ends of these. Double-sided tape. This is on a thick card. Sometimes if you get the cheap double-sided tapes, eventually the glue shows through. So I usually always try to make sure I've got acid-free tape. But I also mostly only use it on cardstock. So if it's on cardstock, it's not likely to show through anyway. So this is going to hold it in place. Get my pokey tool. Till I sew it and I'll only sew one edge on video because you don't want to watch me sew the whole lot I don't think there we go so one on this side roughly in the middle of the page there we go Make sure this is still going to slip under here. Yep, that's great. That's really good. Really like that. And then one on this side. Roughly in the middle. There we go. And that card's going to slip under there. Yep. Beautiful. Love it. I will probably do some decorations on these glitter pieces at some point as well. But first I'm just going to show you how I'm just going to sew it in. Because I'm going to hand sew it, it will obviously show through on this side. So I want both sides to look fairly similar. I have this grey waxed thread. And while I'm pulling this thread out, I'm actually thinking about how I'm actually going to do it. Because I haven't decided on that yet. But to make life a bit easier... I'm going to use a pokey tool and poke through some holes. Now I should put something on this side so I don't go through, go straight through. And I should have a piece of soft foam, but I don't actually have any. Well, I don't have actually have a piece. So I'm just going to do this carefully. The reason I'm doing the holes is because I've gone through that sticky tape as well. And I want to make it easy. Easy to bring the needle through. The holes will help with that. There we go. That's that goes through pretty simply. And then we know that the page is definitely stuck down, and it's not going to go anywhere. And I'm working out, thinking, thinking, thinking. One, two, three, four, five, six holes. So if I go a bit like doing a book stitch and go in and out here, in, out, in, go all the way over, in, out, in, <laughs> that's making no sense, is it? Yep, that'll work. I'm going to do it a bit like a book stitch. So I end up with the two pieces on the same side in the middle. I'm going to use a fairly small-ish needle. I don't want to make those holes any bigger than they are. I don't want the needle to be able to fit through. Because once you've got two pieces of wax thread, it's actually quite thick. So I'm going to go through this one. Can you see? Yep, I think you can see. And then through this one. 
and then through this one. Hopefully I've got enough thread here. I'm going to go all the way across from this side, all the way to the far side, and go through there. Then back through this second last hole. And through this hole. There we go. Then I have, the back looks fine, just looks like a piece of sewn thread. Just pull it a little bit, not too much. And I'm just going to tie a knot here. Pull this needle off. Tie a knot. Then I'm going to tie a bow. Hopefully I've got enough on the shorter side. Without losing my ends. There we go. Pull it down so that bows are a bit smaller. Chop that off. There we go. Isn't that cute? So I'm going to go ahead and do the other pieces on the tops and bottoms of each page. And there we have a sewn in belly band. Which, there we go, pretty cool, like that, righty I'll be back. G'day, I'm back, righty all just playing with the lights a little bit, might be a little bit dark now. Um, but get a bit of glare. I'm gonna have to get some stuff to put over my lights so they're not so glary. Anyways, I finished sewing these in. So you can see I've sewn them all in and just tied a little bow so it looks pretty. And then we've just got this bit of sewing on the back, which if I decide I don't like it, I can cover it up later, so that's fine. Um, and the two belly bands now work really well one piece in there and another piece in here there we go but once I add photos to these I'll be a bit of a tighter fit so they probably won't move around much which is really good so there you go um two little belly bands next piece I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do but we'll get on to that soon and I will get that video up too in the next few days I hope so please like and subscribe, tell me what you want to see and I'll catch you later. Bye.